Well, uh, to what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome back to some more Life is Strange 2. So this is going to be the last part of episode 1, because that's what I normally do. I normally divide each episode so into smart. three parts, just to make it more manageable for me. And one you thing I want to address far. is, I saw it in the comment in the last video, where I sort of misspoke on a very um, racially charged topic. I might have completely blown it off proportion, and that person was, sort of, was definitely right to address it, and... And call me out and correct me and for that i appreciate you love you never be afraid to leave a, a comment regardless of what it is regardless of the context of the comment is but yeah shouldn't have said shouldn't have said that or should have been more articulate but sometimes i don't think these true my words come out faster than i can process them in my head but anyway moving on from that let's just get right back into the game so Right, what what can we do? That's uh, an awfully nice squat you're popping there, my good old buddy, Sean. Oh, we can play fetch. Awesome. Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yeah. I mean, well, let me do a test throw first. Cool. Okay, never well, mind. Okay. Cut me off. But I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Okay. How wide is wide? Just yeet it into the ocean and hope for the best. Come on, mushroom. Get it. Do mushroom. Yeah, because that went pretty far. Anyway, any game with any puppies that you can play with or pet is an awesome game in my book. You can do it in Ghost of Tsushima as well, apparently. I have that game, but I haven't played it. I have that game and I haven't opened it. I bought it recently. Not something I want to play on the channel, something I want to play in my own Good time. Actually, job. one series I do want to bring to the channel is Kingdom Hearts. Because Kingdom Hearts 4 was announced recently, and I want to do sort of um, a journey to Kingdom Hearts 4 type of uh, content. Alright, okay, so here you go, Daniel. Your turn. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, Mushroom. Come on. Watch it now, he probably yeeted into the sea. Fetch. Oh, it's broken! Or Brody, but I'm calling him Brogan. Because he's a bro, and he looks like Seth Rogen. Come and also, his name is Brody. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? Oh, text dude. It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Dude, I love Listen, you. I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but... You should get rid of that phone. Ah, uh, yeah, because the old government can track us down. So can Google. Google know where I am every day, any time, and they know what I'm doing. They know too much about me. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk. He deserves Brody, to. You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta da! I, I mean, ho ho ho. <laughs> and don't you dare That's argue nice. about it. That's nice. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Love this guy already. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Oh, now scarf. it's yours. Cool. Wait, no, it's um, a bandana. Do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Oh, she looks so cute with it. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Uh, 
Hey, too soon. Don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, a tribe called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. A brogan hug. She could stay with us. God, I hate this mushy stuff. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Damn, that was very touching. Okay. Time to hit the sack. I was just about to say, what about Mushroom, but there she is. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. All of that camera angle looked like we're being watched. Oh, and we have $47 now. Sweet, he gave us money. Okay, good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Why would you have trouble? Ah. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If we're Did lucky, he? it'll have cable and a hot shower. Did he? See? <laughs> Did he say Netflix? Can he not say Netflix? Guess not. Okay, just gonna explore, see if there's any, any Easter eggs here. Wait, what's the name of this place actually? Just gotta be a name on it. Can I just do a quick run? Or no? I think I saw it at the start of this part. Uh, it's the Three Seals Motel. No relation to the Two Whales Diner. The Two Whales Diner, that was where Chloe's mom worked. I, I forget Chloe's mom's name already. We need to get to that room 10 now. No time to wander around. Okay, then put a bit of pep into your step, my dude. Oh, speaking of pep, can we get some peppity here? No. Sounds like everybody is asleep. Yeah, yes, so keep it down. Shh. Exactly. Now let's see what kind of dive this is. I mean, it might be dive, but it might be, it might be decent. Oh, carpet. That's a good start. Check it out. It even has a bathtub. Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too, and there's a balcony. Whoa. So, so TV nice. and a great balcony. Lovely. And warm. This bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not No, bad, that's my one. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Wanna play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but Ready? I am so ready to beat you. I'm so ready to beat you. So, we got rock, paper, scissors, paper. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. <laughs> Can we play another round? Come okay, on. best two out of three. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. Okay, we'll, we'll choose scissors because he's gonna play rock probably. Oh! oh tie! Aw, oh, come on. Scissors again. <laughs> oh, come come on. On. I actually not wanted him fair. to win. You lost, man. What's not fair? I wanted that bed. Yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave the bed to Daniel. I'm not going to be that petty. Eh, uh, take it. For real? I don't really care. Awesome. They're the same, you know? Yeah, but I like this one better. 
Hey, All careful right. with the puppy. I'm gonna Don't be that rough. We totally reek. Especially you, Kid Pen. I wouldn't be so sure, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool. Hot Dog Man is on. Oh, I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. Yeah, nothing like late night cartoons. Right, so what do we have here? Handwritten note. Thanks for everything, Brody. Oh, it's I'll from be Brody. Extra careful. Sean, I'm a better writer than I am a speaker. That's why I'm writing this letter while you and Daniel are asleep in the car. I'm sorry that I can't take you further, but there's a good reason to it. As dysfunctional as it can be, family is family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah, where my mom is currently losing her battle against cancer, and I have to be there. You'll find a few dollars in the backpack. That's all the cash I've left, but you need it more than me. Your goal is good, and you need to follow your instinct, but please be careful and protect your brother no matter what. You'll see when you tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you can truly rely on. In any case, I think you'll be safer there than you are here. A dead cop in the current state of things cannot be a good way to start negotiations. I wish I could have met you two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I could help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. P.S. Hit me up when you're safe. A tribe called West. I'm always online when not driving. Been a while since I've used a pen. Hope you decipher. Ah, uh, yeah, because I can barely make out his chicken scratch writing. I mean, I, I can't say the same for myself. I mean, I, I haven't written anything in a while. I'm sure I take notes here and there when I'm at work and stuff like that, but I uh, haven't <laughs> actually written anything proper in quite some time. I mean, the last time I did, did anything with a pen and paper properly was when I was in college. Pin? Did I say pin? I meant pen. Byro, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and a card. Yeah. Don't think we'll be coming back this way. Okay. Free ice and free Wi-Fi. Ooh. He got me into free ice. Okay, there's flyers, a chair, and... I'll watch TV with him for a bit. So, what's up? The buns want to catch Hot Dog Man. And turn him into sausage meat. Oh, yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes. And they get to meet the city mayo. <sighs> man. It's been ages. Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. Feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> True. Oh, yeah, you deserve it. Anyway, enough of that. Okay, I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know, but I gotta take care of the bath. Don't forget you're up soon. I know. Yeah, because we both stinky, stinky, stink, stink. Now, turn on the light switch. There we go. Okay, clean up a small bit. This episode is awesome. <sighs> Damn. Sit down and watch that fucking retnick hit me hard. Turn the other cheek, they said. Nah. Let them hit first, and then let them suffer the consequences of your um, retribution. I don't believe in turning the other cheek. Fill her up. Okay, so I'll just let that fill up there. Use a bit of a uh, bubble bath, maybe, to really get the stank off. Daniel will love this. One bubble bath coming up. Brother of the month. 
that you're doing a bang up job so far. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. Even though I normally am, 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 am sarcastic. Ooh, a painting. I like this. Damn. I could paint this shit. Then go ahead, my little Picasso. Paint to your heart's content. Mushroom, look! It's Hawthorne Man! Yeah, I don't think Mushroom gives a doggone toot. Ooh, ashtray. This cigarette with Lila seems so far away. Okay, and let's just have a bit of an inner monologue here. And let's see if we can get any good thumbnail material while I'm at it. It's nice out here. Wish I cared. Nah, too dark. Puerto Lobos, Mexico. Can I get us this far? And safe? How can we get there without money? Hmm. And Daniel still doesn't know what really happened. How the fuck am I gonna tell him? Yeah, that is gonna be uh, and just very hard. Have to take it one step at a time. That's enough pondering. Okay, oi, you. Get your stanky ass into the bed. Or into the bath, you I ready? should say. Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Wait, you're gonna bring uh, the dog as well? Oh my god! Whoa! So many bubbles! Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will! Promise! Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking the bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I don't trust you, Daniel. Uh, <coughs> throw my phone Daniel, away while Daniel. Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Wait, I didn't, didn't hear what you said. I wasn't planning on getting rid of his bag, but... But, yeah, it's staying in the family. Okay, let's see what we have on our Time phone. Time to say goodbye to modern life. Wait. Are you not gonna write down numbers? Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. Uh, you know what? We need all the support we can get, so I might as well call Lila. Even though I could possibly be tracked. Sean. Hey, Lila. Sean. Okay. I guess I'm I'm in a motel with Daniel. Shit. Everyone's looking for you here. Yeah. I want to put her feelings above my own, so I'll just ask her if she's okay. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. So worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. Yeah, wish you could. You know I wish I could, but we can't take that risk. 
They're gonna put me in juvie. Daniel. Oh, shit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. Yeah, you know what? Gotta keep being a bit uh, empathetic here towards Lila. Because if I come across as too hostile, I might end up cutting her off. Even though she's I'm my sorry. best friend. I totally hate this. I guess the freaking fighters are disbanded for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going. Oh, decision wait. time. For now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Shut up, Wayne. Oh, my God. Such a terrible situation to be in. Uh, okay, I'm gonna throw the phone now. And enough, I've been silent long, long enough. But oh, that's so sad. Ooh, nice throw, bro. Although I would have just yeeted it into the sea. Think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Gotta rip off the band aid. Oh no, I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me the decision to tell him or not. Me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! No, I, I gotta talk directly. Man, it's gotta be done. I, I can't dance right now. My legs are thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a coat or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Oh, my sweet summer child, if only you knew. This is going to be rough. Weird. 
Daniel. Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna blow the place apart. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! Oh, Why? Jesus. Oh, God, we got to frighten Kevin down. Okay, but he's still Daniel. scared. I didn't know what to say. You should have told me. I couldn't believe it either. I didn't mean to. I hate you! Okay, I can't tell him she left because that, that would set him off. I know I messed up everything. We're gonna get through this. Come on, hug it out. Me. Daniel, please. Oh. Calm down, calm it's down. Okay. Don't turn the laser apart. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> told me we were gonna see Dad. I'm sorry. Jesus. I just. Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. Yeah, we got a promise. promise. I won't lie to you, Dan. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. What are we going to do without him? Shh. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You know what, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. He was going to probably find out either through the paper or through the news or something like that. I didn't say it out loud, but it was kind of at the back of my mind. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long oh, there's as we're nothing together. Daniel can't do. Piss him off, he'll force shove you into oblivion. Like he did. I'm not as good as him. <laughs> he used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world. There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. So the hunters being an analogy for the police.
Uh, so I'm guessing this is the end of the episode, or at least nearing the end. Jesus. I did not expect Daniel to go so off the rails like that, but then, then again, given that his powers are based on his emotions, they were bound to come out like that, but it seems like he has he's more aware of them, he's more control to an extent. But I'd like to see what way he's going to use them. Like, how will this story progress with his powers and he's coming to terms with them and he's coming to terms with the loss that he's dead? Is this the end of episode one? I think it is. Yeah, to be continued. Okay, so here are the options uh, for each scenario. You give Daniel the Choco Crisp. And 32% of people chose that. I kept the uh, Choco Crisp. 42% of people chose that because it was the most... Um, even option to go for uh, you told the truth to wait what's his name uh to esteban oh esteban that's the name of her dad oh okay uh you hugged esteban 90 percent of people hugged him right on 10 percent of people refused to hug you monsters uh you didn't steal the money from the jar that it gave me 70 percent wait wait Wait, was that an option? I don't even think that was an option for me. I didn't even see the money in the jar. You confronted Brett. 75% of people chose that. Okay. And he decided to steal it in the parking lot. 56% of people chose that. Eh, yeah, because there's no real consequences to losing a chocolate bar. You begged for food yourself. 28% of people. 51% of people have more strength. You didn't steal anything from a gas station. Good. 61% of people have a good moral compass. And you hit Hank and stole the camping gear. Only 35% of people chose that. I mean, either or is a good option. He deserved to be hit in the face. And 61% of people caught lie the back. Oh, sweet. And you promised Danny you wouldn't lie to him again. Yes, that was the most... I'd say most direct route to go for Daniel. To give him that sense of comfort. Uh, and there's a few other things so I, I won't go over them yada 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 and we can continue alright come on man focus Wait. What, 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 okay no 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 this is the opening to part 2 or episode 2 I think okay Trust me, you can do it. Can we not just stop this? No, no, uh, let it play. Oh, okay, so it wasn't the opening to episode two. Well, I mean, it kind of was, kind of isn't. Ah, okay, so it was only a preview. So, right, in episode two, we're going to learn how to control our powers. That's going to be awesome to see. Uh, but I wonder, will we get to play as Daniel at some point? Like, will there be different perspectives to play from? I think we probably will more than likely, but I'm not sure. Uh, either way, so far, I like the way that the game has lured me in with both its narrative slash story, the backdrops, it, everything, the characters. Again, the only thing I don't really like, but I'm not going to shit on the game for it, is its political leanings. That bears nothing on the game itself. It's totally separate. Or people might think, oh, well, Runner, you've your blinders on. Everything's political. you got to take the politics into account. I mean, that's what the game is about. It's about racial tensions and whatnot. Yeah, sure, it's a part of it. No, no doubt about it. But... 
uh, how to say this? I, I gotta really think about it. I don't think what a lot of companies were doing back in 2016 and even later on, they were painting the minorities in America with a very broad brush. Almost, um, how to say, infantilizing them, treating them like children. Like that they, like that, um, without this huge savior complex that they couldn't think for themselves, do anything for themselves, stand up for them, themselves, or anything like that, that each and every one of them was uh, a victim of society. Again, like, while it, while it is true to an extent that a lot of uh, Hispanic Mexican people faced massive amounts of discrimination, were forced apart from their families by ICE and whatnot. Like, I do think that is absolutely freaking horrible. I think what Trump did was inexcusable. No, like, tearing families apart, that is vile. It was nasty. Like, saying that every person of this specific heritage or nationality has experienced it, that is a hell of a take. But that is where I'm going to leave it. I don't think people should be talked down to. Sure, we should prop people up. We should give them the support they need. But this... Like, looking at it through just a very narrow lens. Like, these people are clearly victims. They're going to be victims all, all their life. Or all their lives. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, not these people in the game, but in general. Ugh. I think I've spoken too much. I've probably dug a deeper grave for myself. But take it as you will. Feel free to criticize me if you think I've misspoken again. <laughs> I'm probably going. I'm probably going to constantly do it. And I don't mind being corrected. Okay, that that's all fine. It's all part and parcel of doing this thing. Anyway, guys. That being said, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. Comment, favorite, share with your friends, and of course, like always, I will see you guys in the next one. So until next time, see ya.